It's a very good question, and all of you could jump in. Uh, the, uh, this was directed to the, Mr. La, La Raviere. The data set you pro you provided is very interesting. Do you have any plans to address Mr. Broy's criticism uh, on the narrow focus? In other words, are we playing uh, data uh, skipping around with the <laughs> selective data? You know what I'm trying to say. If I could say it, I would. Go ahead. Are we, are, are we jumping the books? I could have shown the math data, public schools outperform. I mean, we don't, because of the emphasis on testing and reading and mathematics, those are the two big data sets that we have, reading and mathematics. In terms of the, what Mr. Broy talked about in terms of high school graduation rates, uh, I think Ms. Travis addressed that perfectly. They're subject to a lot of finagling underneath the table. We, they can kick out a student, and when that student, and, and code them as a transfer, and then when that student drops out, he gets on the public school graduation or dropout role, and not on the charter school dropout role. And so I chose to focus on the data set that can most clearly be attributed in, to student performance and what happens at the school, what happens in the classroom, what, what gives us an indication of the quality of teaching and learning that takes place in the building. And those are the growth measures that were provided. Everything else in, in terms of the stuff that Mr. Broy talked about is subject to a bunch of if, ands, what's, howevers, and exceptions um, that my data is not subject to. You might have noticed I'm responding to his data, but he hasn't said a word about mine. Mr. Broy, you have a Sure, I'd be happy to. Um, so graduation rate is not all that I focused on. I focused on both ACT test scores, on um, EPAS gain scores, which is the same analogous high school growth measure used at the elementary school level, and the SQRP ratings, which are very, very robust and take into account 12 different measures. So the notion that somehow charter schools are manipulating data at a graduation rate is not borne out by the facts. And I'd also say that people in the city who have made charter schools a political issue and are rooting for charter schools to fail are rooting for Chicago students to fail. And that's not something we should accept as a city. We didn't make charters political. The mayor and the school board has made charters political based on who's awarded those charter school contracts and in many cases, who's continued to get them. These, in some cases, these are people that are extremely politically connected. Yeah. Well, I mean, I to so I think we have to start, go back to where we started, because I think it's really important, and this does get lost in the, in, in the conversation. We have the same objective. No, we do. We do. My objective is the same of yours. How we get there may be different, but we have the same objective. Letter ensuring that every child in this city has access to a high quality education. So uh, I think that becomes critically important. We believe, I think the data uh, shows that charters are an important part of establishing that objective and goal and have been successful. Our goals are the same, making sure that every child has the opportunity to have a quality education. Thank you. How about a big round of applause for our panelists?